this one. This is a nice house, but I'm switching things up a little bit. I'm gonna start the video on the inside of the home because outside, this home is located right on the corner of Alger and 17th Street Hill going up to Albertsons. So it's lunchtime, it's pretty busy right now and tourist season still. So obviously there is a lot of noise outside, but I'm gonna turn the camera around, take you through this house. And what I do want you to see is that it's pretty quiet once you're inside the house. So I'll let you take a look there. And of course, now that I'm saying it, there's no traffic, but so there's been a lot of traffic coming and going up and down the hill. So it was a little too noisy outside. So this is a two bedroom, one bath, pretty spacious, has a nice front yard as well as a large fenced backyard with a couple apple trees and other landscaping. You've got nice hardwood floors, forced air heat, central air conditioning. We have newer windows. Uh, these are hard to see, but we've got some vinyl windows, all the screens. <clears throat> so even though it's a newer or older house, it's got a lot of nice updates. You've got a newer roof on top, digital thermostat. Here we have the kitchen with a dining area over here to the side. This includes a flat top uh, stove and a really nice kind of side by side with freezer on the bottom refrigerator and tons of cabinet space, pretty good counter space. And then we have the full bath here, which is convenient to both bedrooms as well as to the guests. It is a little bit small. All right, and then we have two bedrooms. Now keep in mind, this has not been cleaned at all. The tenant literally just vacated, so we have to get everything moved out and cleaned up. This is going to be a spectacular rental. Lots of closet and cabinet space in both of the bedrooms. They're both equal in size. I'm gonna guess about a 12 by 13, maybe a 13 by 13. They're a little larger than usual. It looks like you could even fit a king size bed. They've both got two windows, lots of storage, like I said. And I will also uh, take you downstairs, but quickly, let's just take a look at the back. This pet door has been sealed shut, so if anybody wanted to use that, it would have to be replaced. Got a nice space here in the back entrance that would be perfect for a little bench along here. Some coat hooks. And then we've got the backyard. And again, it's going to be a little bit noisy, keeping in mind that this is the middle of the day. It is noon. So you've got the lunch hour traffic and tourist season traffic, so it's a little louder than usual. A couple apple trees that are just loaded with apples. Nice big patio, there's plenty of room for patio furniture. And these trees would provide some great shade in the summer evenings. Great place to hang out. We've got some nice little flower beds here next to the garage. There is an in-ground sprinkler system. Uh, it's currently turned off for some reason, not sure why. And then here we have the garage, which is a one car oversized. So it's got enough space that you could almost fit two cars in here. But of course it's taken up with some things. So you've got built in workbench and shelving. The sprinkler control system is in here. You've got a nice gas furnace. I do not know if that works. We will find out. And there is a lot of storage space up top. And if I can get this door open, I'll also show you there's a lot of space outside. So when you come outside, you've got access directly off the 17th Street Hill. Lots of parking if you've got an RV or trailer, some kind of toy well as parking in front of the garage here. And then of course access directly into the garage. There's a walkthrough gate there. 
as well as on the side of the house that leads to the front. So there you have it guys, this is 1702 Alger, right at the bottom of the 17th Street Hill. And again, by walking inside here, I'll give you an opportunity to see the difference between the noise level. Now honestly, once I'm in and the doors are closed, you can barely hear any traffic outside unless you're really listening for it. So it is uh, pretty quiet despite the location. There's a lot of great space. This is a pet negotiable property. Great location, just a block from downtown Cody, so we don't expect it's going to last. So if you want to schedule a time, be sure to visit us on our website. You can also start the application process there. Or if this doesn't suit your needs, you can always see what else we've got in the inventory. We have rentals in both Cody and Powell, so be sure to check those out. That website is AmericanWestRealty.com. Thanks, guys.